This short video is on the theme of continuity and staying with qualities in meditation so that they can develop. The theme of continuity is very important. It's usually associated with purpose, as in a clear comprehension or continuity of purpose. When you start to pay attention to qualities in yourself and objects of meditation, for example, like the breath, the breath is always changing. The sensations are changing. And likewise, within yourself, uh, your energy, your mental states, the qualities of mind are always staying. So the language that we use needs to be quite sort of clear but provisional at the same time. We can stay with a breath or we can anchor our breath. But both of those words, stay and anchor, uh, they imply a sense of being something being static and not changing. Whereas the reality is that the sensations and the qualities and the, of mind are always changing. And so we need to stay with something that's changing. So we're staying with us in a way a sense of continuity or even momentum. So this process of staying with the continuity needs quite a bit of inbuilt uh, purpose that this is what you're going to do. You're going to follow this trend. You're going to follow this theme or object of meditation. Now, one of the, the simple ways of describing this is that you drop the, the direction into your mind early on. We're going to stay here. We're going to be doing this. And you reinforce that periodically through the meditation with words like here. Uh, and those words here uh, are particularly connected with the actual experience. It's not abstract at that point. So the whole skill of staying with an object of meditation or staying with a quality of mind so that it can unfold and deepen and develop is very central to meditation. Now even having the word continuity dropped in early on in the meditation can be very useful. There can be a sense in which the mind is, is getting it slowly. This is what it has to do. It has to keep a continuity. It has to stay with this. Find a way of staying with this from one moment to the other. Now, one of the traditional and, and very useful uh, little reminders of this process is something called check and adjust. So basically check and adjust is you, you take a moment where you broaden your awareness and get a sense of what's happening. Are you still involved? Are you still staying with the object of meditation or the, the qualities of mind which you're developing? like being for the welfare of beings? Or is your mind wandering off and doing something else? So this sort of noticing or taking stock of your situation can sometimes reveal that there's something else going under the surface, something that isn't actually obvious to you. You think you're counting or you think you're noticing the breath or you think you're doing phrases, but actually under the surface, there may well be something else going on. And the checking or the taking stock or the, the broadening out to notice allows you to actually see what's going on and to have a sense of evaluation of whether it's useful or not. And if it isn't, if it isn't in line with your original intention to be present and alive to your experience, and your specific intentions to pay attention to a particular object or particular quality, then you adjust. 
you start in some way to bring your attention back and reinforce your intention to do that. So this process of checking and adjusting is a very personal one. It's something that you develop for yourself and make your own over time. And in this way, uh, it's not a distraction to check or adjust. It just becomes part of the process of being aware. So I think this is very important, that it's not that you're aware of your breath and then you, you go away to check and look around and then come back. It's more like you're aware but you're uh, of the breath, you're in touch with the breath to some degree and you broaden your awareness to take in what's going on and then focus more after that. So in that way there's no actual lack of continuity in your being with the object or with staying with your purpose. So in this way over time you get used to and develop your ability to keep continuity both of your purpose but also your sense of presence and engagement with your object of meditation.